Cinderella Talk Club, where we let you know everything about the Valley. We celebrate what's good about the Valley, and our next guests are what's good about the Valley. They're from Oyuna Hospice, Richard Parr, and Tina Hernandez. Yes. Yes. And not your first time here. No. <laughs> uh, but I just want to start from the basics. Uh, what's hospice? Let's just start right there, if it's okay. Sure. Hospice is um, somebody with a terminal illness. So that can be CHF, that could be COPD, that can be cancer. You know, end of life comes in so many different diagnoses. So hospice is giving that loved one the quality of life that they have left. And nobody knows how long that is. Usually hospice, uh, hospice benefit is usually saying that somebody's gonna live six months or less, but we definitely do have those patients who graduate from our services or last a little longer on our services. And everybody's different. Everybody's diagnosis and medical condition is different. And hospice cares to provide that supportive care to those families and to that patient, so. Now, my mm -hmm. kids shook me up the other day when they said, you know, everybody dies. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just inevitable. Yes. Very uh, true. But most of us do it once, mm -hmm. you know, and family member, most of us, one or two family members eventually. I mean, I'm 63. I've never lost a family member. So mm -hmm. we haven't been through this. But everybody's going to go through it. So my point I'm getting to is I have no experience. I have no training. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to expect. Yeah, as do the majority of our families, they're in the same situation. And to add on to what Tina said, you know, hospice deals with the uh, medical comfort and care need for somebody who has really decided that they're either, they don't want to continue treatment or the doctors have said what you have is beyond treatment. Uh, maybe they just want to pass away at home with family with dignity or in a uh, assisted living facility. But hospice also deals with spiritual care, emotional care, uh, financial care. We have social workers who help to make sure that the financial pieces are in order. And as we always want to educate, hospice is never paid for by the family. And so it comes through Medicare or if they qualify for Medi-Cal. And so it's a lot of families think that, oh, I don't have the money saved to qualify for hospice. Well you're you know you're not going to spend a penny being on a hospice well that's why they need to call you guys because you know how to handle that financial part and sometimes you said it's applying for medi-cal yes medi-cal mm -hmm. um we have the ability to take patients with medi-cal pending just saying that they have applied for medi-cal and just waiting for that and if they haven't applied though yes. you can help them we can guide them and give them, them those applied. resources absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. a lot of people are terrified about applying for things you know yes people my age and older we're not used to the computer just oh just jump on the computer computer and sign up for it that's why sometimes a social worker helping yeah absolutely we yeah and we've got a really strong administrative team as well that can help help guide you know we we look at it that when a loved one is getting ready to pass away whether it's the next day or like tina said nobody knows when mm -hmm. We understand that there's so many emotional things going on that trying to figure certain things out, it's just your brain's just not working yeah, like yeah. it normally would. And that's where we have a complete team, uh, Tina and her partner, Summer. I mean, they really step in to help guide the family and the patient through what's best for them. Because you guys have done it before. Absolutely. Many, many times. So you're, oh. you're not the first, like... Know, yeah. going through it for the person. Now, I just assumed, but it's something you just said made me think I've been wrong all this. I assumed hospice was a place you go, like another facility that it can be at home. Yeah. Yes, go we go um, to homes. We've had, um, we have patients in six bed facilities, residential home, assisted livings, memory cares, skilled nursing. We basically go anywhere. We follow these patients. And do you help get the patient to the appropriate facility? Absolutely. They could be home. Mm -hmm. Yes. That'd be nice. I yes, think, uh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we definitely saw that during COVID when if you were in a facility, your family really was not allowed to visit you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so we wanted to do everything we could to get the patient home with their family. But most families aren't prepared for that. There's mm -hmm. a lot that can go on. And so yeah. we helped with all the medical equipment, the supplies necessary the the visits every day if necessary from aides or whatever we can do to ensure that there was a family and patient cohesiveness that would lead to that person passing away 
with honor. And that's also a huge factor in the grieving process mm -hmm. for the family. We actually spend time with the family for a full year after the patient passes away to ensure mm -hmm. that when all those first, the first birthday, holidays, when all those things happen, that they've got additional support mm -hmm. to make sure that they're actually mm -hmm. grieving appropriately. So you're with the family for a year? Yeah. Yep. After, wow. Yeah. I've learned so much just in these few minutes here. You yeah. can have hospice at home. You're probably yes. not going to have any cost, no right. giant financial burden. Don't no. avoid calling you guys no. because you say, oh, we can't afford that. Call, right? Right. Yeah. Just call. I do the house visits. Actually, just came from a family who has a loved one that's bed bound, can't get out of bed, total care and briefs. You know, we are getting all that equipment out there, should be out there within the next 30 minutes or so. You know, we take all the equipment. I mean, we have the ability to drive our doctor out. I personally drive him out. Yep. If there's a family who doesn't know what to do, they can call us and we can definitely guide them and get them on services if it's appropriate. I think nobody knows what to do. This yeah. is going to be Correct. there for anybody. Yeah. By the way, that o Oyuna, I'm saying it right. Yes. Oyuna. 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 Yeah. Oyuna uh, OyunaHospice.com might be a good resource for people wondering Absolutely. about this. Even Absolutely. if you don't need it yet, maybe don't wait till you need it. Right. I From the family we heard from, it's like, wow, if we would have known it, this was what hospice is, we would have called a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks hospice is death and actively dying. We don't go in there to speed up the dying process. We go in there to support these patients and these families. So, yeah. yeah. Also, today happens to be our six-year anniversary. Yes. Yes. I know Tina was going to mention Super that. Super excited. We're proud yeah. of that. We, by no means, we're not the biggest hospice. Nope. But that's, by, that's intentional because quality of care, and this is actually National Quality Health Care Week, um, we want to make sure that the families and patients that we serve that we serve them well. So it's not about the number of patients we have, it's about the quality of service to the patients. So, but Absolutely. it is our six year anniversary, so we are, we're guys, very proud of that. You guys been coming here for almost six years, I think. So. We love educating mm -hmm. people because we, Tina and I have said many times, both of us, our mothers were on hospice with the UNA, passed away while under the care of a UNA team. And so we know firsthand, what it's what it's like and we understand the fears and the hesitations mm -hmm. and the public perceptions of hospice and so we're going to keep coming on here and keep educating Absolutely. and until people just really understand mm -hmm. that we're here to love on you to help you and to take care of you and like you said in the beginning we all have a time to die that's a reality mm -hmm. and we just for those who need additional care we, we just want to be there with them Absolutely. Now, who should say we have viewers watching? By the way, this video is going to be on YouTube forever. So <laughs> it's not like this. You're just here this week and you're, you're gone. You, you'll be able to find Oi, Oh, you know. Oh, you know. I know. <laughs> on our, uh, our YouTube channel, which we're going to hit a million view, views in the next couple of weeks. I hope yours is a million. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So go look for this video. Mm -hmm. If you know somebody you might need or... Uh, somebody doesn't understand everything, email them this video. You just click and forward it to them. Absolutely. Very informative video. Um, but the question I was going to ask is who should call you? Whoever's watching right now, who yes. should call you and when should they call you? Anytime. And they can call us the 374-2726. There's always a life person on the other end of that phone, and they forward those calls to me. To you. So they right. will be talking to me. Yeah, wake up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and, I mean, Let's say somebody's not even in a situation yet. Can they call? And Absolutely. Just Ask questions. Come to need you sooner or later. We'd education like to know is info. key. It's all about education. Yeah, education and information is paramount. We mm -hmm. always want people to be proactive to where in the event, we're, we're in a generation where people are living longer, but it doesn't necessarily mean mm -hmm. the quality of life is better. They're Absolutely. just that life is being extended. And so if you, you have a, a brother, sister, or your parents, and you, you start to notice this, differences in them reach out to us yeah. and see and mm -hmm. uh we partner with other agencies that maybe they don't need hospice now maybe it'll be in the future but they need care in the meantime we can also help Absolutely. with that i just realized you guys say oh we're you know around a year after the passing and so a year before or two years before that's not too early to get a not hold at of all you guys, so. not yeah. at all by the way uh, another thing you told me before we came on the air i thought well hospice is like two weeks or three weeks and that's it but you said there's been some longer ones. 
uh, we have patients that have been with us for almost three years mm -hmm. and they're just they're slowly declining but the families really need the extra support in all capacities the spiritual the medical the the equipment uh, emotional support all those things and when they came on surface with us we didn't know if it was going to be a week a year and, yeah. and you know, you're in a hurry you're not there to no, hurry things up but no, you have the best it, quality of life no right. the, the longer that we are honored to provide service to them the better for us because we get to build stronger relationships with the families mm -hmm. but we also know that every day is a, just a wonderful opportunity for the family to be with the patient and time you never get that back and yeah. so yeah. if we can help somebody be around longer or have a better quality of life then amen we're doing a good thing yeah. i've learned so much i hate to even ask you another question because no. yeah. i've learned a lot today any last thoughts for our viewers you know winners here right around the corner we see our fragile senior community that are always in and out of the hospital and that's another thing that we're here to prevent is those frequent hospital visits there's so much in the hospital covid pneumonia the flu there's so much of that going on if there is an elderly patient at home that can no longer make it to the hospital or to your doctor's visits give us a call if if they meet criteria i'll let them know when we go out there and if not i can part the, partner them with the with the agency that would be able to support them through this winter time yeah. so yeah or you know oh, yeah. you got or it you know hospice or you know hospice uh go to or you know hospice.com mm -hmm. call them up 559-374-2726 Five five nine three seven four two seven two six. Twenty four hours a day. Absolutely. Twenty four hours a day. Thank you for coming. Thank you, oh, Mike. Appreciate very it. Always a pleasure interview. to be here. Very yes. important. We'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.